We'll start with these what I call challenge lines. Challenge lines can literally be anywhere on the hand because they are lines that intercept and clash with other lines. Uh, in this area here at the end of the headline, I might draw it on for you. We've got these challenge lines. They're called challenge lines because they come from the area of the Mars mount, which is this area here. And these challenge lines are at the end of her headline. What happens here is it's like energy that is scattered at the end of her headline. The headline is this line that goes across the palm and hers ends at those challenge lines. And she also has a fork, which makes it confusing. And her fork has a fork. So she has many split lines coming at the end of her headline. And all of these split lines are showing energy of the mind escaping. So they are challenge lines. Some people do call them enemy lines. They can be challenges that come from other people that affect the person's mind or they can be the person's own challenges like obstacles that the person might make up themselves and these are common in people who tend to overthink too much and they might even have trouble sleeping they might have insomnia or things like that uh, the mind is just not quite relaxed so they are literally just um, obstacle lines at the end of the headline and the fork that she has gives her the ability to see like two sides of the situation it might it's a quite a large fork so she might have a slight split personality she might have two sides to her personality and she might also change her mind often so for instance, uh, if you think about the lines as a thought, energy of thought, so the thought runs along one line, but then might change her mind and then suddenly runs along another. And that gives her the creative kind of a mind. So that's why they call these the writer's fork, because the writer is practical and creative because they're practical in their writing creative in their mind doesn't mean that you're a writer if you have this writer's fork it just shows that duality in the personality now having a fork in the fork just adds another layer to the character so you could say anywhere there's a line is split then the meaning of the line is also split. So being a headline, we're talking about the mind and it splits into two. So the mind has the ability to split into two. So like I said, a duality could be a, a strong case here in the personality. If you follow these challenge lines along, I'll change it back to red. We challenge, it's not going to red. If we follow these challenge lines along, the energy for, for them tends to come from the worry lines. There are many worry lines and she's obviously a person who worries quite a lot. So this is, in my opinion, a challenge that comes from within herself due to her overthinking and worrying too
too much and it is potentially affecting her mind or giving her obstacles in her mind. Thank you.